only on two tonight we are hearing from a woman who was kidnapped and nearly sexually assaulted. A terrifying ordeal that would have been worse if it weren't for her quick thinking. She outsmarted her attacker and then escaped. The man accused, Christopher Emerson, now sits in a jail cell. Sally Mamdu live at Aldine Westfield near Aldine Mail Route where that woman was abducted. Sally? And Dominique, this mother didn't think she was going to make it out alive. And despite being repeatedly abused and almost raped, she managed to make a run for her life. It was supposed to be a quick errand at 3 o'clock in the afternoon for one woman. I went to go pick up medicine for my two-month-old. And as she was leaving the Walgreens on Aldine Westfield in North Houston, that simple quick run to the store would quickly turn into a living nightmare. I got in my SUV and I was closing my door, but then a man started to open my driver's side door. He pulled a knife on me and that's when I tried my best to shut the door, but I couldn't because he was stronger than me. For the next two hours, the woman isn't sure she's going to make it out alive. Then he tied my hands with zip ties. I thought I would never see my kids again. The terrified woman says the man later identified by authorities as 52-year-old Christopher Emerson demanded she pull $300 from a nearby ATM. She says Emerson then drove to the bank, a route she says filled with repeated abuse and attempted rape. We took the back road searching for an ATM, and that's when he told me to take my pants off. I couldn't understand what he was asking, and that's when he punched me twice in the face. Then he drove us to a nearby parking lot and took my underwear off. I told him I just had a baby. She says Emerson was disgusted by what she told him and drove them out of the park into a busy area, which was then her only chance to make a run for her life. There was a school bus dropping off kids. I jumped out of the car. He then took off and crashed into the bus. Now, Emerson didn't make it far. He was arrested by a deputy constable that just happened to be in the area when this crash happened. Emerson has a lengthy criminal background, but tonight this woman shared her story because she wanted everyone to know that this could happen to anyone and at any time. So the takeaway from all of this is to always be aware of your surroundings. We are live in Northeast Harris County. Sally Mabdu, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Well,